I didn't really come from a family where art was encouraged. It was just something I always did. And the TV was always on in my house, so um, <laughs> I just, just always did art and around all the chaos of family life. I'm Eileen Doster, and I'm a, a painter, and I'm also a poet and a teacher, and I teach art to very young children. Um, this show represents seven years of work, um, pre and post Hurricane Sandy. Um, it's a, I've done other work in between, but this represents uh, work dealing with the line of water, the role of water in our lives. Hurricane Sandy came right up to our street, and we live two blocks from the East River, so to see our supermarket, for instance, having water halfway up the sh shelves and being closed for months, it really makes you feel vulnerable. It really makes you feel scared that we're not taking care of our planet and we have to think about changing things for the future of humanity. What this and some of the other paintings show is that when we had uh, Sandy, the whole beach was recreated where it used to be tall, it became low, or it was low, it became high, and then I think of all these sandbars being moved by hurricanes and how the sand sort of tunnels down, the water you know, tunnels down, and what like really goes on under the sea near the coast when there's these big upheavals with the weather. That's basically what I'm playing with in a painting like, like this. I like, I use drips and I, I let them drip and then sometimes I turn the painting around and so the drips are coming up. And um, I'm working with the wave, the splashes in the wave. This studio, seven years ago when I got it, um, I was influenced by the area. I, so the first painting I did of the Brooklyn Navy Yard uh, will be included. And I, like I said, had other themes that I worked on over the years, but I kept coming back to this location and to the working at the Jersey Shore. A lot of that work was done, you know, a block, couple of blocks from the ocean. And when I work in my home, I'm right by the river too. So I, I'm, I'm always thinking about the proximity to water. And it's like, you're not even always looking at it, but there's just this feeling that you know it's there.